Howdy folks, today it is a shimmy lesson and we will be talking about the three quarter shimmy pop quiz. Is there a difference between the three quarter shimmy and the triplet shimmy? Want to know more? Then watch on my friend. We like to do very interesting math sometimes in belly dance. What we're going to be learning today is the three quarter shimmy, which is not the same as the triplet shimmy. Let's talk about this. So when I first learned the three quarter shimmy, it's nothing like what I'm actually going to show you today, but it was similar, just similar enough to kind of confuse the heck out of me. So let's talk about this. Three quarters means that we're going to be hitting three out of four accents. Whereas a triplet shimmy, what most of us actually do when we talk about three quarter shimmies is an even three beats over a division, right? So it's kind of like a waltz where all three beats are even. What we are doing today is a three quarter shimmy, which if we slow it down, which is typically how we start learning it in a slow format, it's going to do one and two, or you could think one, two, three, pause four, one, two, three, pause four, right? So it is a three quarter, or I'm doing three of the four accents. Interestingly enough, and let me know if this has happened to you, as we speed it up or as we take classes and our teachers speed it up, typically what we've started with is the three quarter shimmy, one, two, three, pause four, one, two, three, pause four, and where we're expected to go is to this. Ba da 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 one two three one two three one two three one two three triple it triple it triple it triple it. We're expected to go into the triplet shimmy, which you'll notice is missing that pause that was part of our three quarter shimmy. So now, instead of thinking this, this is a problem, let's think of it as an opportunity. Here's an opportunity to take two shimmies that have maybe been considered one in your belly dance vocabulary and make them two instead. So today we're going to be doing a true on three quarter shimmy which is going to have three accents and a pause, and we'll take it slow and fast and see how you can use them in both ways. And if you'd like to learn more about that triplet shimmy I mentioned, I have a video on that as well, which you are more than welcome to check out. Okay, so like I mentioned, the three quarter shimmy is going to be three movements and a pause. One, two, three, pause. One, two, three. What are these three movements? It's an up, a down, and an up that is weighted. So if I'm on the left side, my weight's on the left, I'm plieing to begin to sort of move before my move, I'm dropping so I can lift. Up, bend the knee down, straighten the knee up, but don't lock it, right? So I'm using the knee, I can use the glute as well. Bend the knee to switch sides, lift, drop, lift. Mostly skeletally driven, right? So I'm using my leg and using my knees to make this happen. Bend, up, down, up, prepare, up, down, up, prepare. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, prepare. One, two, three. Typically how this is actually counted, if you're counting it with the music, is going to be one and two, three and four. One and two, if we're doing a slow three-quarter shimmy, which is where we're gonna start at. One and two, three and four, good. As you're doing this, I want you to be sure that your weight stays on the same foot for both bumps. On the right for both, on the left for both. I have to bend the knee to retract the hip to be able to lift it twice, right? But I want to try to aim to have both of those lifts equal, right? Equal in size, equal in power. One, two, three, four, one and two, three and four. One more each side and two, three and four, right? So if we're keeping our weight over the one side, we're not moving back and forth in between each one. We're literally doing two bumps while our weight is here, two bumps while our weight is here. That in and of itself is sometimes called a slow three quarter shimmy, which is a bit of an oxymoron because a shimmy is typically fast, but it's like the slow version. Now we'll look at speeding it up and maintaining its integrity, i.e. not taking out the pause, which is what we so often do when we speed it up, which makes a lot of sense because it gives you a little bit more time to do the movement if we take out the pause. But what I'm gonna say is that if we take off the pause, it becomes a triplet shimmy, which is slightly different and fabulous and wonderful, right? So if we're moving to a faster three quarter shimmy, we're going to be doing one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two, 
three and four my weights on the right on the left on the right on the left yeah one and two three and four one and two three and four i bend to be able to switch sides tiny little plie i don't really see any shift in my head level as i do this I'm just creating a lot of this movement is created by the knees, right? So my feet are flat. I'm getting power from the floor. My knee is bending and straightening, but never locking, right? So I'm not locking into my knee, which is going to do terrible things to my knees and kind of cause me to bounce as I do this movement. So even when my knees are straight, they're bent, right? They're just less, less bent than when they're bent, bent. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going one and two, three and four. Let's try it a little bit faster and see what happens. Here we go. One and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. So now it's not quite as slow. One and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. You can also do this with your feet slightly more underneath you. I will admit when I tend to do three quarter shimmy, I tend to open my feet just a little bit, open my stance. And so you'll see, I get a little bit of a side to side. Now, if we're going to take this full on fast, I'm going to eliminate that because I don't have time. So if we take it a little bit faster, one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. A couple of things happen as I get faster. I tend to be less percussive unless the music is calling for it. If I can be a little bit more wobbly, a little bit more loose, I can easily move more quickly. I tend to make the movement a little bit smaller, right? So that I have time to complete it. And then I keep my feet a little bit closer underneath me because the side to side takes time. And if I don't have that time, I bring my feet right underneath me. Another thing I tend to do in the three quarter is I often sort of get a bit of a step with it. You can't really see it because it's very minute. But as I'm doing this, I'm using the shift in my weight to create that first up. And I'm allowing myself to sort of walk in place a little bit as I do it, which then makes the transition to traveling with this pretty easy because my feet are used to that little shift right and left, right and left, right and left, right and left. Yeah, so as I'm going this fast, maybe we start to get into 16th note territory. So where I'm counting now is and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four, which you'll notice is very similar to our finger symbols. And a one and a two and a three and a four, which is the gallop, which some people call the triplet, but it's a three quarter, right? <sighs> math, math everywhere, yeah. And a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and slow it back down. Da 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 da. Yeah. So it can be one e and two e and one e and two e and for you keeping track. Or you could go and a one and a two and a three and a four. Where you put the emphasis is totally up to you, right? But the idea in that three quarter shimmy is that you are. Accenting three times and then pausing on the fourth. Does that make sense? Five, six, seven, eight. Starting slow. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Try to make both ups equal in size. Are you ready? Shall we speed it up? Four, three, two, one. So I'm going one e n, two e n, one e n, two e n, one e n, two e n. If I'm counting it with the music, so there's a pause there. Yeah, one e n, two e n, ba da ba, ba da ba, ba da ba, ba da ba. Good. Let's try walking it forward. Walk it back. Take it around to your left. Take it around to your right. Don't forget to smile and breathe. Bigger. Good. Walk 
it forward again. Here we go. One E N, two E N, one E N, two E N. To the side. Take it back. Knees stay nice and soft, right? The knees are driving a lot of this movement, but it's very relaxed. I want you to feel like you can do this all day long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> much for joining me for this video on the three quarter shimmy. So what I want to know is when you first learned to shimmy, was the three quarter and the triplet distinguished as two different things or was it kind of all one and the same? I'm very curious how you learned. If you liked today's video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that I can send you fabulous free belly dance content on a regular basis. Thank you so much and happy dancing.